So is this episode eight? Eight, yeah. Eight, dude. Fucking I can't shit. believe that we're actually on our eighth episode. So, I'm, I'm not Seth. And I'm not Earl. So talking shit with Seth and Earl. Here we go. Yep, let's jump in. Um, Our last episode we just did, I mean, just a couple minutes ago. We kind of ended on the topic of uh, sexual exploitation, um, sexual pr- promiscuity. And I think social media is doing a bad thing right now, and it's just causing problems. It really is. Oh, my God. If you get on Instagram right now and you just go on a scroll, you are at some point are going to hit this hit this area where it's like it's just talking about like um, women that are like just being like horrible, like. And maybe it's like they're maybe they're like botting me and they're like trying to like get to like like a you know like get this like clickbait stuff and like trying to really do this get you to comment yeah get me to comment trying to like like feed on emotion but it's like what are you seeing what am i seeing is like there's all these videos like women like moms that are like they have to go to court and they're trying to get child support over a guy and stuff like this and then like guys in the airport they're like they're losing their shit and they're smacking women it's like it's like what the fuck is happening in the world where all this stuff oh like you mean like men are not being restrained enough and women are giving them shit and then it's like it's like they're going down this route where it's like they're trying to put this put this mental image to you it's like men and women should be in opposition of one another it's like I don't, and like I said, this may be just like them trying to appeal. Like they know I'm a guy, and they know that they're you know, trying to piss you off. They're trying to piss me off. It's like they're trying to show me all these videos of like women that are bad mothers. They're just like just out there screwing every guy left and right, and they're trying to show this image. And these guys are like poor victims and stuff like that. And then they also show the stuff where like guys have had enough and they're like fighting back against women. It's like, what the fuck is this about? It's like That's men and women. extremes, isn't it? Yeah, it's like men and women are supposed to come together, form a relationship, create a baby. This is nature. This is just exactly what fucking nature is. But they're supposed to do this, raise that child up into the world, okay? And so now it's like they're trying to I don't know who they is, but it's like it's like they're this message is trying to be spewed out into society that men and women are somehow supposed to be in opposition of one another. Yeah. It doesn't make any fucking sense, but I swear to you, it's like they're trying to get they're trying to get that message so, out there. So by men seeing slutty women online, men think all women are sluts. Exactly. That's I I swear there is a push to do this, at least like if they I don't even know if it's they understand that you're a man, they're pushing this, or maybe they're doing it to everybody. Like maybe all women are seeing this stuff where they're like there's a push for men to be against women. But it's like, okay, you have this shit. It's like um feminism is somehow now incorporating men, like cause like the trans movement, all this kind of shit. It's like oh, yeah, I didn't men think, men I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah it's like men are trying to become women. Not so much. You don't see as much it's, women trying to become men, but it's like men are getting become women and it's pissing off men. It's pissing off women though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why is it that there, there is this thing. It's like women's right. I, I talked to you know, or Mich- Michelle about this the other night. I said, do you, can you imagine like all of these people that are taking like, like truly, truly remarkable individuals that you're supposed to be like living up to a standard. Like we talked, touched on Martin Luther King here just a minute ago, but it's like, they're taking these like great civil rights activists, these great people that had great ideas and they're using them as their idols and they're doing these horrible fucking things with it. It's like, um, do you think Susan B. Anthony, like, do you think like she's looking at, the current like if she could look back she's dead but like if she would see what's going on today um 
men going into women's bathrooms and raping that and raping women do you think she would be like that's exactly what i wanted or do you think like martin luther king he saw like the the blm movement where they're like rioting and breaking and into buildings he's like and he's like that's exactly what no it's like you're taking these great i these these people and you're using their names and their ideas you're doing the opposite, and you're doing or, or, the opposite. it's like they preached like nonviolence and reform and you know like people holding hand in hand being equals and now they're pushing for these unequal movements it's like i don't fucking get it it's like when i was a kid growing up martin luther king day they they read the story about he about his talk on washington where i have a dream where black socks and white socks can be together and like you know my children can hold hands with white children and like and it made you feel like that's what it should be like. It should be equal. Mm. Okay. In women's rights movements, Susan B. Anthony, when you're learning about that, like it's saying that men and women are equal to each other. Okay. Like they're supposed to be equality and love and prosperity. And it's like, it's like these, I have, a, I, I can't, I, have a I can't get over this shit to how like the, they're taking this stuff and they're fucking falling off the mark. Man. I've, I've got a thought, but it's kind of controversial. Because I'm a, I'm a white man, and I'm going to be speaking about black culture, yeah? Okay. It's a controversial thing, so obviously you have to... And I don't have the correct words, so if I make a mistake, yeah, don't fucking kill me, all right? But listen, if you go back in time and look like in the 50s, black people, they wore suits. They were very civilized, extremely civilized. They were, they were, in my opinion, if you look back at like 50s, and you look at the black culture, it was so civilized. Black and white could, I don't understand like why there was some segregation happening because blacks and whites back in that time, they had, they were basically the same. Black people were so civilized, white people were civilized, like the world was kind of civilized. Then you get into current black culture, yeah? Which, back in that time point, no matter what he's saying right now, though, like there was hatred between Black like there, yeah. It's like it doesn't matter. Like if they were no, no, civilized no. in the home, specific... there was there was definitely racism going on between everybody. Right, but specifically, like black people didn't want to thug it out. There was no black thugs. Like it wasn't like thug life, you know, n words and fucking thug life and and doing drugs and. Well, I think it comes down to a lot of stuff. Like the, I I don't know if I I don't know if this study is right. And I, I might be wrong, but I think it was like pre-world war ii um the number of male figures in a household in the black communities was a lot higher than it was yeah that's what i'm pushing mean. towards like the 70s yeah 80s. that's the whole point like they were more civilized there were, like i said there was fathers at home there was more male figures in the household yeah. raising the children in, into civilized human beings yeah i'm not saying that it's i'm not saying blacks are the reason right <laughs> that's not what I'm no saying. i think a lot of it just has I think it, a lot of it's households, and you can get you. You look back in history. There's a lot of there's. I don't know if it's a conspiracy true. I don't know if it's conspiracy theories or if it's true or what. But they say that like it was pushed for. There was a breakdown of the. There was a breakdown household. of the of the household, yeah. and they think and they're saying that it was a. You know, it wasn't like an accident. But then, right, I, and I. Totally agree. I think it wasn't an accident. And but then you've got like rap music starts to come up, yeah. And then black people start to like thug, you know, thug it out. And then it yeah. becomes part of the culture, mm -hmm. which is terrible. This stuff that is part of their culture is it's not good for people. Yeah. Like like crime. I mean, it's part of the culture. I'm sorry. Like thug it being a thug. And, and twerking in the streets and all this shit. It comes from that music and idolizing, <clears throat> idolizing the wrong people. Yeah. And if you idolize the, the right people, like Martin Luther King, if you idolize that guy, if you look to Martin Luther King as being what we could become, that's an amazing thing. I, it, if you look at Tupac and say, this is what I could become, or, you know, guns you look violence at any of that and all this stuff. shit, it's like... That's not a good thing in the culture. If you look at any of that stuff, what you'll notice is there's a lack of a male figure in the household. Mm -hmm. 
True. I mean, like when you're growing up, like Tupac. I'm, okay, maybe I don't know enough about the culture to be able to say this, but I, I'm pretty sure, like Tupac, like I think there was a song that he sang about his mom and everything, but he never said anything about his dad. I don't think right. his dad was in the picture. No, that's no. not a knock on anybody. That's not a fault of any person that their father no, ran off true. on them. Okay. What I'm saying is that I think that having a male figure with a with a with a young boy in a household, there needs to be a male figure for him to be able to ask questions, to look up to, to be able to have some kind of interaction with. Because, okay, here, I use a perfect natural example. Mm. It has nothing to do with race. It has nothing to do with anything, even humans. Okay, they took this thing, and it was a park. It was a uh, it was a park in Africa where they had elephants, okay? And what they started to notice was that they had, I don't know if they were rescuing young elephants and they were putting them in here and that's how they started it. But what they noticed was that all the rhinos started dying. Well, what is killing a fucking rhino? Mm -hmm. There's only one animal big enough to kill a fucking rhino. And like, I mean, because it was like they were beaten to death. Like, like. What beats a fucking rhino to death? Mm. Okay, an elephant. There's nothing else that can do it. All right. So what they noticed was that you had these young males that were ultra aggressive elephants. Well, and they're like, well, you know what? You know what's happening? They had no adult males in there to put them in their place. Yeah. Okay. So what they did was they went out. And they actually captured this real old bull elephant and they brought him into the park. And guess what happened? The fucking rhino stopped dying. Because the elephant... The old male, him. he started putting these young yeah. bulls yeah, in their place. True. And I'm telling you, you have to have a male figure when you have male children, okay? You have to have it. It is ultra important because if you don't, you're going to have young, angry youths. And whether this... Thing that we were talking about with black society, whether it was orchestrated or not, I don't know. All I'm saying is, some some happened. We know yeah. now as a society, and there is there. I think it's getting better, honestly. Like I think there's more men in black households now because I think everyone understands this principle. It's like it's we, coming along. Yeah, now, it's yeah. like we're it, society's progressing in that way, but for a long time there wasn't, and you know either they were being put in jail, whether it was a conspiracy, it truly was being set up. Or drugs, you know, infiltrate. And Tupac even said it. Tupac said, uh, "Crack came, meaning like crack came into the neighborhoods." He said, "Crack came, and it was strange how it rocked us." Yeah, and society. if you look, I mean, dude, like, have you watched Narcos? I mean, like, the, there was a lot of CIA shit going on. Yeah. Like, drugs were being pushed there, there into are, American society. No, yeah, there are theories, like in the black communities, where they think that there were literally CIA people were dealing. Oh, dude, like, that's have you how watched, the fucking drugs came into the? Have you watched the? White Boy Rick? No, I don't think so. Dude, watch it on Netflix. It's it's crazy. Dude, there was... Yes. Yeah. Dude, the American government was putting drugs into into communities. Yeah. It, they definitely were. So, but here's what I'm saying, though. You need to have a male figure with male children. You can't have... And... Hey, man. My parents were divorced. I was raised by my mom primarily. I, I, but I saw my dad. That's the thing. Like, my dad wasn't not there. Like, I just didn't see him as, as much. Um, and it sucks. Broken families are not a good thing, and they should never be idolized. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and, I, and I'm saying this, like, there was a big thing when I was younger, at least, that, like, we were idolizing women, like, single mothers and everything. It's like, I'm not saying that they're not doing a hell of a job. I'm saying, but you shouldn't put that in it. You shouldn't talk about it. Because it's a good as, thing. as an idolization for that it's that it's okay that women are going to for breaking that. Yeah. up of society, like breaking up of marriages. No, you you shouldn't put it that way. Yes, single mothers work their ass off, but don't talk about that to people to young women in a manner in which they can interpret it as oh it's okay as long if, if that happens to me. You should never strive towards that. That's not good. A family that stays together grows together and works together that that's what you should push that's what ultimately you should push because when you don't have a male figure for male uh children they're going to become angry youths mm -hmm. and angry youths create problems 
Dude, have you ever listened to the song by Elvis in the ghetto? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! Uh, it's right there in the fucking song, okay? Like, this was... And that was the 60s. Yeah. And that wasn't talking... And, like, you had a white guy singing about it, okay? Like, it doesn't matter, white, black, Asian, whatever it is, if you don't have a male figure with male children, you're gonna have angry male young youths. And guess what? They're gonna do stupid shit. It doesn't matter. Race isn't even a factor in it. You have to have male figures with male children. And I don't know, I, like I said, I think that I think that it's like a brainwashing thing where people were like, like, oh, it's okay to be a single mom. Like, like you can survive as a single mother and you can raise children, but you but it's not something that should be idolized. And when I say idolized, I mean it's not something that um you should, you shouldn't it should put not it on a be pedestal it should, and yeah. aim to be that. Yeah, it should not be a goal. Yeah, to be a definitely. single mom. It should never be a goal to be a single mom. No, it should be a goal to have a healthy relationship in which you can both foster love and grow a family. That should be the goal. Oh, but I think. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well. Well, but what I think is like all this shit on social media is pushing this picture where there should be a divide between men and women. It's just not fucking true. And where is this coming from? Where the fuck is that coming from? Why is that on my social media feed every fucking day when I go on there? Who's pushing this shit? Um, going back to what you said about... Um, fuck, I forgot. Uh, and I'm telling you, that fucks with people's minds. Oh, <laughs> idolizing. Yeah. Look at the music. Have you seen rap music? Like, have you seen the lyrics? This is what we're idolizing. This is what kids are listening to. And that that's the problem. When you have that stuff, like these these angry young men, yeah. they're growing to just regular men. With this, and they're with put, this yes. thoughts in the head. From, but, like, I'm going to fuck police and all this shit. But if you look, okay, like here, I don't know. I'm just saying like uh, Ice Cube. I don't know Ice Cube, obviously. But like, Why is that obvious? I don't know who I'm. Well, he's famous, and I'm not. Um, so like, oh, I, you don't yeah. know him personally? Yeah, like okay. obviously, I don't. I don't know uh, fucking Donald Trump. I don't know any of them. Like, they're not coming to my house and hanging out. <laughs> What's uh, up, Seth? Like, dude, we no, got. No, I some... thought you meant you don't know like Ice Cube, as in like the musician, like the music. The no, like I know yeah. of him. Like, okay. Yeah, but like, if you look, I, I don't think. Okay, Ice Cube incorporates his son into a lot of his movies and everything. Mm. Okay, so I don't know if Ice I don't know Ice Cube's background as far as like his father and stuff like that. I don't know if he came from a broken household. I would assume that back in that time frame, it was pretty common to have broken households in a black community. So, but Ice Cube is working with his son. Okay, he's he's incorpor he's being a dad. He's doing that stuff. Uh, Snoop Dogg, like, he he fucking ran a, a, a Little League team for his son. Like, it was on, or, like, Snoop or, or doing all this kind of stuff. He was a coach for his son's See, football team. See, but that's team. the shit that you don't hear. You, you don't all hear, you hear about is, oh, fuck women, fuck this. Well, but that's the thing. It's like, they, they came from a time, like, they were, like, in an era where they didn't have that. But then they recognized it and they gave back to their children, okay? Like, so it's got to... Every guy. Yeah, we need to idolize that. Yeah, we need to idolize need that to as idolize a society. Like we're, no, yeah. As Th this, as all that shit. Like, yeah, it's in culture. It's the music and everything like that. But you need to take it just like as if it's a comedy movie, okay? It's fucking satire, okay? You should not idolize women that are going out there getting banged with ball bats, okay, every fucking day. Or guys that are out there like pimping women and doing all this kind of shit. Like, no, like what you need, like you need to take it as if you're watching a comedy movie. Okay. When I watch a comedy movie with Will Ferrell, you know, I don't think I'm going to take a fucking cougar in a NASCAR and run around Talladega. Okay. Like, I'm not going to do that. Not it's goal, fucking yeah. funny because it's a movie. Okay. You should listen to the song. It's like, it's a song. It's not something that I should model my life after. Yeah. Okay, it's satire. That's what that's what we need to understand. But I think a lot of a, a lot of kids 
right now they're listening to this stuff and they're taking like I don't think well, they have the role well, models. Well, to- like we were saying, people are, I mean, kids, they're in their rooms in the dark. And that's probably the only thing they hear. And that's what I'm telling them, that the social media, the cell phones and everything, it's not good. And I think parents have to, I think parents need to take the step to be the ones to say, like, we need to monitor the amount of time that they're on this. Like, get them into sports, get them to do something. Mm. Like, yes, kids are going to, they're going to play video games. They're going to play, they're going to use social media and everything like that. But you got to have a person with a sound mind to be like, all right, get your fucking phone, put your phone away. We're going to have family dinner. Yeah. And that's why in the one video I advocated so strongly for having family dinners and family time, okay? You need to have that kind of stuff to to build a foundation. So like foundation is everything. So the so when a child is young, they can remember that stuff and they can use that for their foundation for the future. Okay? Like it's it's not it, these are not difficult concepts to recognize, to understand and to agree with. <clears throat> and I think any sound-minded person is going to listen to things that we're saying, and they're going to be like, you know what? They're fucking right. You three guys, you know we're talking yeah. the truth. Come on. But seriously, did I did I say anything that wasn't... Right. Yeah. No. You didn't say anything incorrect, my bad. But all this shit that you see on social media, they push for black versus white, woman versus man. It's like... No, what you need to family. I don't give a fuck what color it is, what area of the world that it is, what language it is, family. Okay? But this idea of man versus woman, black versus white, it is doesn't it, is work. It's still family movies about family. I don't know. I know there's like French like oh French. But is there a movie about family like uh, Lilo and Stitch or something? That sold. Lilo and Stitch, the mom and the dad were dead. No, but they have like a word that means family, and they make the family. Oh, thing. it's like very. Well, if you look at a lot of the circle, it's like family. A lot of these Disney movies, if you think about it, like there really aren't. The families are broken up them somehow. They're not together. Mm. Now, I mean, like either they're dead. I'm trying to think. Yeah. A lot of them, their fam, like their mother and father, are dead, or some something has happened where it's only the mother or it's only the father or some. Like they don't, they don't show like healthy family. Well, because there's got to be chaos. It's got to be conflict. There's got to be some kind of like plot storyline to follow. And oh, usually... like Incredibles or something. Like where the whole family has got superpowers and they all. Like yeah, they all together. work together. Yeah. That doesn't happen very often in, in a movie. Yeah, but that was Pixar. I guess Pixar is owned by Disney now. But yeah. anyways, well, no, but something like that. I'm trying to think of a recent film where it's <coughs> you don't have similar that. with a family fighting together or something. It's not a lot. I don't think so. But yeah, you know what the other, you know what the other thing is. You see all this shit, especially about the race stuff. How many times have you actually had a, per, a conversation with a black guy or a black woman and been in a negative manner? When was the last time that happened? No, I never. Got to talk to black people. <laughs> joking. It was funny, but but yeah, I don't, but like, yeah if I do if I do have a conversation with a black person, it's usually <laughs> civil, you know. It's fine. No, but like I work with a lot of like I went to school like our our high school. We had it like I told you, we had a class like graduating like 650 and one of the big things that people always said like oh you had a lot of crime and i was like like we had a pretty mixed bag i mean i'm not gonna say it was 50 50 but probably like 60 70 percent white 20 percent black 10 percent hispanic mm. maybe maybe a little bit more than that never really had any problems as far as race and the people i work with like there's a lot of black people that i work with there's a lot a lot of hispanic people i mean I haven't had any negative interactions with anybody. Mm. Everybody's just working to get their fucking money so they can pay for their family. <laughs> That's the like, truth. Yeah, it's like, we don't give a fuck. If you, go to a, if you go to a blue collar job. Yeah, that's the truth. And you go in there, you're not going to see a lot of There's fucking no racism, fighting about yeah. racism. Okay. No, no. You're going to see a lot of people bitching about overtime mandates and all this other kind it's, of stuff. You know what? We're it's, just there. We're all there for the same reason. To pay for our fucking food. You know what? That is totally true. And it's like 
there's that conspiracy theory, uh, the New World Order bullshit, yeah? where if hu the human race had an external threat, like aliens, we would all eat, would unite so fast. We would unite so fast if we had a threat coming at us from outer space. Well, no shit. Exactly. But it's like that. Like, the, like America is so divided because we, we don't have a... There's no goal anymore. There's no fucking... We're just... Like, at work, yeah, like you said, there's blacks, whites, Spanish, all this. But no one's fucking fighting because we've all got, we're all doing... We're all here for a reason. We're all here to get fucking paid. And it's like, that's not... That's not going on. Did I ever tell you the story about how someone tried to recruit me to become a white nationalist? No. I'm not going to give names. I'll say I was at a bachelor party mm. uh, my buddy getting married and i didn't know you go to a bachelor party you don't know half the people there like you may know you only know you fucking yeah friend, like i'm you? not friends with all his friends he has yeah. his own friends um but the one guy like we, it was one of those things like there was a hot tub and we're all drinking we're all fucking getting wasted and shit like that you know it's a hot tub you give a bunch of drunk guys a hot tub they're gonna get in the fucking hot tub that's what it is so we got in the hot tub and we're all drinking and everything and everybody's getting out and I'm, I'm drinking. And it was like me and the last dude that were in the hot tub and he starts like, and we're talking about just bullshit and you know, I'm running out of beer. So I'm sobering up a little bit and I'm realizing the conversation's getting a little weird. It's getting like about race and stuff like that. And it's getting to the point where I'm like, he's fuck. saying some extreme. Well, he's saying some shit and I'm like, I'm like, okay, like where, and then uh, he's he said something about he's like he said I think you know why why I'm talking to you I'm like not really man I was like I don't I don't quite get it and he's like he started talking about like how you know the races it's never gonna work it's not gonna work out and stuff like that but he said uh he said well you know like you're you're a kind of a country guy I said yeah he's like kind of you know you like to hunt you like to fit I said well you know and he said uh he said well I'm a white nationalist. Mm. I, I, knew, I heard of the Ku Klux Klan. I heard of skinheads, but I never really heard of white nationalists. Mm. I didn't really understand that term. And I was like, but I knew when you say white followed by something else, usually it insinuates. Yeah. I was like, I can kind of paint a picture here. I'm like, he's like, so he's like, I'm, he's like, you know, he's telling me all this shit. Like he grew up. I'm a racist. Son of a bitch. Well, <laughs> that's basically what he said. Isn't it? Well, but it's just like anything else. Like I, I say like, nature versus nurture i think the the nurture thing is the where you get a lot of like you're, yeah, he you're, idolized you're, someone. you're well no it's like your experiences throughout your life frame who you tend to be as an individual and he's basically saying like he grew up in a black neighborhood and he had nothing but negative experiences and like all this kind of stuff and like that's why his thinks the way he thinks mm. i'm like you know that sucks i i guess i get your like point of view like Bad things happen to you. It's like the guys from Vietnam. Why did they all hate the Viet Cong or like World War II? Like they went over to Asia and now they they have nothing but racial slurs and they don't like them. Like I get it. Okay, yeah, I'm not we, I'm not here to judge you. Like, why do black people not like white people? Yeah, it's like okay, like if you had nothing <laughs> get but bad, it. yeah, if you had nothing but bad things happen to you, I'm not gonna say that like you don't have a reason for your feelings. I'm just saying like I don't agree. I don't think the same way. Yeah, because we all have to work together. Yeah. And, and the funny thing is, like, you know, Michelle, she's from Brazil. And he was saying, like, I, I said, I was like, hey, man, I was like, I think you got the wrong guy. Like, I'm marrying a Brazilian. Like, and he's like, he's like, it's all right. Uh, Brazil, it's from Portugal. They're, they're from European descent. I was like, dude, like, you put this fucker, like, down to, like, a, like, that. Like, he was, like, really narrow. And I was like, I was like, dude, like, I don't, here's, and I told him, I said, look, man, I said, I got nothing against anybody. If they don't fuck with me first. Right. I said, You're do I do agree opinion. with all the things that are being said, like the Black Lives Movement? I don't agree with any of it, pretty much. I don't think any of it's right. I think that they're taking, like, Martin Luther King shit, and they're just, like, throwing it out the door, but they're still using him as a figurehead. I think I, I totally disagree. Yeah. The violence, anytime you use violence as a way of, like, saying that you're nonviolent, I think you're a fucking <laughs> hypocrite. But... In terms of like looking at a race as a whole and saying like they're just bad, no. I said, look, no I way. said, 
I said, ultimately, I said, with the way things are going now, I said, in 100 years, I think you're going to see a lot more people that are just like a, a tone of darker oh, than 100%. we are. Yeah, I was like, it's going to be like, like if we have kids, like, Michelle, her parents are brown. Like, they're not like be... Michelle looks white, but her parents are brown. They're like, not going to be pure white. Either. Yeah, well, it's like, they're going to look darker than me. Yeah. Okay? And then if their kids have kids with a black person, they're going to look darker. Like, it's all going to be a mix, I think, at some point. Yeah. But it was like, it was just weird that, like, you know, they looked at me and he's like, he's like, you're a country guy. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that doesn't mean I hate black people. It doesn't mean I hate Asians. Do I agree with everything that they're saying on social media as far as, like, like I said, the Black Lives movements and all that kind of stuff? Like, you want to understand? But you're not going to hate a whole fucking race of people yeah. for one black person who called you some bad name. Yeah. But it's like, look, if you grew up and, like, just had nothing but bad experiences with black people, like, sorry, man. I didn't have that. I'm not going to say that I do. You know what? Here's my thing. If you take, I don't care what race they are, if you take a person that likes all the same things that you like and you sit down and you talk with them, you're going to probably like that person. Yeah, 100%. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know a lot of black people that like to hunt. So, I don't hang out with a lot of black people. Not saying but, that I am. <laughs> well, but I, I, dude, like, I just don't see them around. Yeah, yeah. Like, at work, I joke around with the guys that I know in there. But at the same time, like, I kind of wish there was a, I, you know, I, I would really push for this if I could. I don't know how to go about doing it. And I'm a bit of a lazy individual when it comes to that kind of stuff anyway, so I probably won't do it. But it's like, I wish there was a push for hunting in the black community. I think it would be cool. Like, there's a lot of stuff, like, to get out and do stuff in the woods and stuff like that to get them involved in nature. Any children. Get, getting kids involved in nature and wanting to hunt. And I know there's a lot yeah, of people that are going That's the real world. This is shit. Yeah. I think that it'd be great to get kids more kids need to be involved in hunting. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I wish, and it would be a it would be a great way to bridge a gap, to talk with people and to have a, because if you can talk with someone about something that you both link up with, it means that you can talk about other stuff that you don't necessarily. Well, a lot of the, a lot of the time, that's why sports are so big. That's why yeah, a lot of people push exactly. Sports. Like in America, particularly, you have to. In America, you have to be a well-rounded individual. So, I don't know. if you talk to most Americans about sports, they all know about like American football. And they all, oh yeah, it's yeah. crazy ridiculous. When I went to work, like in England, if I talk about football, bet not many people. I mean, there are a lot of people, but there are people who don't really care about football in England. A lot of them, but in America, more often than not, if you talk about the the fucking Super Bowl or something, they know. Yeah, you can talk about it. It's it's. I mean, football to us is kind of like soccer to everybody else. It, mm. it, it's just the sport that we have that's really prevalent here. Yeah. Uh, the NBA, I don't know. People don't talk as. But it much surprised about it. me because when I went into the office, I mean, I mean it's huge and yeah, it was just like my people I know don't talk. When about I went into the office, there was this this woman. She's like fucking in the sixties or something. She's talking about fucking the late the last weekend's football game. Yeah. I'm like, in England, you don't usually find that. It's just the guys who talk about football, you know. It's a fucking guy thing. Like, you know, you drink beer, talk, talk shit, and watch football with your friends, you know, mm -hmm. with your mates, that kind of thing. But you don't get a lot of women who, who watch football. But here, pretty much everyone does. Pretty much. Or the, yeah. But also, I think that might be going away. I'm not sure. Like, kid, the kids even fucking talk about football. I don't know, man. No? I mean, I don't hang out with kids, so I don't really know. Have you, have you heard? Ki oh, true. I, mean, like, I don't have kids. I have a lot of I have a lot of nieces. Oh, I'll, say, I'll say kids. I mean, like, 20-year-olds then. I don't know. When I'm at work, I don't really... I don't know. Mm. It's like... I'm around more people that are older than me than younger than me, you know? So. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not. And I, like, dude, where the fuck am I going to end up talking with a 17-year-old? Work. They're not allowed to be in my work. 
You have to be 18 or older to work here. Okay, 18 then. You could well, but I'm saying like, I mean, deal. as a kid, like I, I don't have, I don't have interaction with anybody that's yeah, a true, child. True. So, true. so like, yeah. I don't know their perspective. I don't yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah, uh, Lo- lawani has got younger siblings, so that's how I. Yeah, so you you have more in touch. Yeah. You're more in touch with that. Yeah, but me. I don't think to do. All that... I'm saying, man, I I don't like what I'm seeing on social media. I don't know why, and it's sensationalism. That's all it is. Like they're just. They're just trying to get you. To, I don't know if they're actually trying to get you to believe the shit that they're pushing. You know, or they're just trying to get you to watch videos. But I will say this: it ends up having. If they're if they're not trying to get you to buy into a message, and they're really just trying to like sell like videos and watch it like that, they're doing it in a way that's fucking with the human psyche. You know, I wonder if it's part of the human condition that. Is that what we want to see? Because it's like violent. this podcast. This podcast holds some as fuck, yeah? No fucker wants to watch this. It's true. I mean, let's face it, right? But then you get... If me and you were fucking... I don't know. Put, breaking some someone's windows. Posted that online. Viral. Yeah. Maybe it's part of the human condition. I mean... That's well, what it's we like I said, see. <clears throat> It's what I said uh, in one of those earlier podcasts. It's like... Why do guys like to watch football and boxing and MMA and all that kind of stuff? We do like to see violence. So we like we. It's like you're when you do that kind of stuff. You 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 have a release of it's it's energy. It feels yeah. euphoric. Um, but I don't know. I think there's I think there's a lot of shit out there right now that's just. It's not good for you. Like yeah, no. the ultimate fucking thing. It's not good for us to consume that shit. No, but I think that's not. what we want to see. Yeah, and it's shit to to say it. We wanna, we wanna watch. But I think I think it's like one of those things. Like we all, we're not breaking that fourth barrier and talking about it enough. It's like yes, we're going to want to watch stuff, but you don't have to believe. No, no, you don't have true. to believe. But we're that... watching it and then we're recreating it because yeah. it's so popular. So we might as well recreate this shit. And then we become what we're watching and what we're recreating. It's like we're becoming less than what we sh- what we are. Shit, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah. So I, just, I, got- I get tired of this stuff on social media. That's mainly what. That's mainly what causes the uh, like the the problems. Like like I said, you'll watch this stuff of like people rating stuff and doing these stupid thing like walmart's raiding walmart's and destroying city blocks and all that kind of shit and it just it makes you upset and then you hear someone say about like uh all this stupid shit about um all the white people paying reparations for for the slavery stuff like that's the dumbest fucking thing i've ever heard in my life but you hear that stuff and it's like it's trying to upset you it's like it's trying to but then like i said you never hear about that kind of stuff when you talk with people in real life yeah because no because nobody actually thinks like that it's it's no agenda yeah when you talk with people in real life nobody talks about that nobody's yeah. upset with one if another if you walk up to a black person at work and say do you want reparations for what the white people did they'll say no they'll say, i mean what? i don't know i haven't actually asked they'll that question t- say what the fuck are you talking yeah about? they'd probably be like dude what the fuck are you talking about yeah you're the fucking crazy one but it's all over what well, did you see that thing rob schneider said dude this is the funniest thing i've seen in months he said about in california i think they actually passed it that people were gonna have to do that he said he said so White people that never owned slaves are playing are gonna have to pay black people that never were slaves money in a state it's not that happening. never had slaves. You know California Is it happening? I think so. I think as far as maybe I'm wrong, but I think that it, they passed something along those lines. He said he's like, That's like a man having to pay for a child that is never up that he never had to a woman that he never fucked. And I thought I was like I was like yeah it makes sense it does it's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard okay have you ever heard the expression you don't pay you don't uh like 
you don't uh you don't condemn something along the line that you don't condemn the daughter for the sins of the father or something like that it's like why the fuck would we be doing this now it's like what did the people that are alive today have anything to do with what happened then okay i mean i don't agree with slavery do you i don't th as far as i'm aware the people in germany their descendants of the nazis aren't paying the jews all over the world any amount of money mm-hmm doesn't make any fucking sense. And that happened a lot sooner than this. It doesn't make any sense, yeah. Like, does it, it doesn't. Yeah. All this stupid shit is... I, 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 I just... That, well, that's not happening to me. I'm not fucking paying for any fucking money. <laughs> if, Girl's like, I'm British. <laughs> if someone put, I'm not fucking paying any amount of money. I'll move to fucking Russia. Fuck it. Well, you, got, you guys could move to, like, Guatemala, couldn't you? I'll fucking move anywhere. That, that is where she's from, right? Guatemala. Honduras. Sorry, I'm, I always you said it last up. time. I know, I know, I know, I know. Sorry, Honduras. But you guys could move down there if you want to. Yeah, I mean, we might end up doing if I have to pay for fucking slavery. I don't. Know. What? 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 What benefit does that do but cause problems? It just causes problems. Like, can you imagine? Like, you just tell a guy, like, "Hey, look, I know that you were never involved in anything, but you're going to have to pay another group of people for shit that your family members did a long okay. time ago. Okay. Fuck you, dude. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put money on the table for my kids. Like why the fuck am I going to pay somebody else for yeah. shit that I didn't We do? all have bills to pay. Yeah. I have fucking bills to pay. Okay. I am not a wealthy landowner. I'll go that to has... jail, me. I will go to jail. Dude. It's like the, a blue, a blue collar guy that's working like, Making like sixty thousand dollars a year, okay. He has two kids and a wife. Like, he's not a fucking wealthy landowner that has slaves, okay. Like, he has real life problems just like everybody else. Why the fuck does he have to pay anybody? Oh, you know what annoys me about the way Americans do taxes as well. It might annoy you too. Why do rich people have to pay more? Why can't we all pay a percent and all pay a fair amount? <clears throat> Why do rich people pay more? Yeah. Rich people pay higher taxes? A higher percent? Oh, I don't know. I mean, like, I can't listen, say why. Listen, but... if you've got $100, yeah, or you've got $1,000, and we both pay 10%, you're yeah. still paying more if you've got 1000 I'm paying less because I've got 100 Yeah, because I'm making less. But it's the same percent. And well, it ends up fucking over the happens. guy that's, like, in the middle the most. Like, because the guy that, okay, like... um. The no, issue of it's like still fair because it's the same percent. If you yeah, no, no, no. But I'm saying middle, like, it's, who it really fucks is the guy that just broke over the line. Like the guy, like what is it? Like if you're more well, mine, my idea. If we all pay the same percent, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm saying like the yeah, idea yeah. of it fucks up. Yeah, because like if I make if it's seventy five thousand the line and I make seventy seven thousand, now I'm fucking paying. Well, and the worst tax. the worst part about that is they make these numbers so close to where the majority of the people are. Do you think the majority of the people are around seventy seven thousand? I think it's like eighty four thousand. But do you think the majority of the people are around that number or a hundred and thirty seven? Right. Yeah. I would say most people are probably around the lower number. If yeah, you want to getting, do that, they're getting what? fucked harder because yeah. they, they've just broke the line. Yeah, they just broke over. Yeah. So now it's like if you're a thousand dollars under, though, you don't have to pay that extra tax. Yeah. I I think it's stupid. We should all pay the same percent. Yeah. yeah. And then looking at what that money's going towards right now, as far as like keeping the borders open to illegal immigrants, and man, I've been seeing some shit dude. online, whether that's real or not, man. What they're doing with these illegal immigrants like is sending them to cities and everything, and what like the fuck. Well, the 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 weird ones that I've been hearing about is like they're renting out entire hotels and they're actually taxing the local population more, so that so they, they can, can keep. That's so they can pay. It. In That's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. It's unbelievable. And here's the other thing: it's like someone I was watching. I don't know if it was CNN, Fox News. I can't remember what the fuck it was because it was on Alexa. Um, but they were saying that, uh, how was it? Oh, the, the, the Biden administration was saying like, well, we had planned to shut down the border. Like we, we, it's the, 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 the conservative, the Republican party is the ones that's not approving this bill mm. to keep it, you know, to close it. 
you know, because but there's other shit in the bill that the Republicans don't want to agree with, and that's it's kind of like it's like you you have the chance to fix this, but you're gonna have to go along with some other stuff that you don't agree with too. And all I could think, I'm like, why the fuck is the American people like I don't fuck the Republican, fuck the Democrat. Why the fuck is the American person? Why are we put in the middle of this fight between bullshit? Okay, it's like just shut the fucking border down. Like if you're the president of the United States and you're so fucking petty that you see all this happening, you're like, well, you had the chance, and now guess what? My hands are tied. It's like, guess what? It's like, dude, just fucking shut it down, okay? Just fucking stop your bullshit. It's not you that's paying the price, Mm -hmm. okay? It's the average guy that's on the street that has to pay the taxes to put up with this shit. That now are like you're trying to get illegal people that don't, or legal immigrants, you're trying to get them to be able to vote without being an American citizen. It's like, how oh, the fuck does that make sense? The, something else I heard is they're trying to change it from illegal immigrant to non-citizen. I'm a non-citizen. Oh, his State of the Union address afterwards, he was like, they're like, why did you say illegal immigrant? He's like, well, ter- you know, technically. Because they're illegal. He's, he said, and even the fucking president, who I don't particularly care for, he's like, well, technically, they're not supposed to be here. Yeah. And it's like. Why are you justifying your answer to that? It's yeah. like it they did it illegally, okay? Yeah. It's illegal immigrants. Yeah. Like you may not like the don't word. Drop it. Like you don't may, and this goes back to when we like our thing our first podcast like you may not like the word but the word has a definition of it fits the situation no, you but can still use it. You know why it annoys me? Because they're trying to change it to non-citizen. I am a non-citizen and I think I've earned a right to be called non-citizen because I'm a immigrant legal came here illegally. Took me years to get here, yeah. Yeah, and you pay your taxes. Yeah, Le- but like I went the legal way. It took me forever to get here, right? I couldn't. I couldn't even live with my wife for two years because we were waiting for the paperwork. We got married, but I couldn't live with her because we were waiting for the paperwork for two years. If I wanted to, I could have just come across the border and I'd have been a non-citizen anyway. It like I've sense. earned the non-citizen title, yeah, to to be called a non-citizen in the United States to be a resident, but illegal immigrants. They just cut the border, and they can just come, and we we have to we can't call them illegal immigrants anymore because it's insensitive or something. And I think your point of view on this is really something important that people need to hear more of because they're not like if I say some shit, people are like, "Yeah, he's just an angry guy." You're just but an angry you, American. Yeah, I'm just an angry American. Yeah. But if if they hear you, they're like, no. "Oh, well, he." They, it's like we may look alike. Yeah. But you, we are different in that I regard. Like, being an illegal immigrant. Yeah. But. It's illegal. Like, there's reasons why we don't cut borders. Because it's illegal. Like, Well, but where else in the world is this happening where everybody's just okay with it? I mean, well, actually, now I say that, I think like France and all this other stuff. Yeah, but it's all the same walk agenda. It's a, yeah, it's like, like, like I said, they're, they're, they're all England. drinking their own fucking Kool-Aid. Yeah. Like, like, they're if, in these fucking circle the, jerks of, like, under, the border, of this understanding. If I cross the border from North Korea to South, no. From South Korea to North Korea, I get shot. That's it. Sorry. I mean, I'm not saying shoot these people because, I mean, it's it, they are people, and we should we should show humanity to them. But we cannot have them crossing. There's got to be repercussion. There's got to there's got to be recourse. It's like no, like this is the law. Yeah, the law needs to be understood. You have the to law needs you have to, to fill out the documents. You have to come the legal way. That's yeah. that's just how it is. And there's always going to be stuff where things slip through the cracks. We get that. Yeah, but that's we're not always saying been we're not saying that like okay, it's like yes, you you have an understanding with anything that there is going to be. Say you're in a manufacturing business, okay, you're not going to have a hundred percent production rate. Okay, mm. there's going to be stuff where there's you know products not going to go. It's not like it's you're not going to have a hundred percent. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you shoot for fucking zero. We're saying that. Saying that, going back to the North Korea, South Korea thing. I wonder how many people actually cross the border into North Korea, knowing they're going to get shot. I don't know. It still probably happens. It still probably does happen, but it's probably a very small amount. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, you just because you know it's not going to be perfect doesn't mean you just fucking give up. Mm-hmm. Okay? Like, there's a reason that our ancestors put the borders up. There's a reason. Like, you don't just fucking blow it off just because some people are getting through. And no joke, 
illegal immigrants best fucking workers you can get like fucking that's just how it is like they're so good but like just come the legal way and if you can't come the illegal way but you know come the dangerous illegal way i'm not advocating anybody to do that i'm saying what i'm saying but is, people have been doing it for years no no what i'm saying is look we have a process we need to if we're going to if i okay here's the thing if i don't stop at a stop sign and a cop sees it he's gonna pull me over okay yeah it's happened i got the ticket to prove it all right so but that like in this case they're like well we see it happening just like let everybody like well why don't we just apply that to all traffic laws all drug laws okay why don't we just see how fucking long it takes for us to go into anarchy you don't do that you don't shoot for zero okay if you can only make 80 percent, okay shoot for shoot for it oh is that why you were going at work like the safety you know you have one accident so let's just fucking that's no it. i was saying like production rate like i'm saying like if you like okay if you're supposed to make a thousand product an hour okay you know there's going to be some kind of inevitable period some kind of period where something's going to break something's not going to be made right and you have to either throw it away or you have to remake it or mm. something like that you're not going to make 100 percent of what you originally set yeah. out to make okay in that time frame but that's not saying well fuck it go home everybody we don't have to make it oh. at all like that doesn't make sense yeah or oh, another way to look at it yeah is if i go to walmart and i steal a fucking banana yeah everyone's stealing so we might yeah well it's like just, might as well just let it go let everything's free yeah 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 it's just like just take it all because the, like, no, the thing no. about the thing about yeah the thing about that is i'm stealing it's illegal yeah it's illegal. what i am doing is wrong yes we shouldn't let is, everybody do it it's like it actually breaks a law okay so where where do you draw the line yeah is it what like well murder like okay like so like Yes, people get away with murder sometimes, but that doesn't mean that we should just like fire all the cops and all the special crimes units and all that kind of bullshit and just say, "Well, guys, you're there's, on your own. Oh, and good luck." There's a there's a uh, you know I'm a, I like poetry. Yeah, there's yeah. a poem yeah by Charles Bukowski called um, "Law," right? I think it's called "Law." Basically, what the poem goes into is every morning he wakes up for breakfast, and every morning there's a new law. So the first day, yeah. everyone has to kill all the cats. And Bukowski goes, why are we killing the cats? Oh, because it was voted. We have to do it. Everyone agreed to kill the cats. The next <coughs> day, we're killing all the horses. Why is everyone killing the horses? Oh, it was voted, blah, blah, blah. Next day, we're killing all the humans. <laughs> and we're hanging them in trees. And, like, all the humans are getting killed. And it goes down the line. And it's like, we're just, at this point, it's ridiculous. But because it was voted in, we're just blindly following the, the the law and we're just doing it. And that's kind of the same thing here. It's like, let's think about this. <laughs> let's think. Well, you know? have you seen this? Th Did we talk about this one time? About like uh, the farmers over in like France? Oh, man. That, no, we didn't talk about it. I think, I think you shared some on Facebook and we briefly yeah, yeah. mentioned So like it. the farmers in the European countries right now are just like, going fucking ham <laughs> like so good what they're doing yeah like they're shit. like dumping manure in the, and the police streets. Can't do yeah, jack yeah. Shit about well it. it's like okay at what point do the citizens have become so fed up with what's happening that it's like okay we have to it spurs something it's like things have become i'm not saying they're they're like that here yet maybe they are but it's like at some point at some point we're gonna wake you're up. going to have you're going to make things so against what everybody believes that there's going to be retaliation. It's just what it's just what it is, okay? Like if you make stuff so against what people believe and what they feel and what they want, they're going to not just tell you, they're going to do. Oh, there's an interesting... And it's like the people in Canada like with Justin Trudeau isn't is like that guy's a fucking idiot. Like I can't and if you look back in time like when he's like a law student or whatever, he's actually contradicting the what he says now, like like completely. He says totally against it. I don't know what is happening with some of these politicians. I don't know. Like it's almost like somebody has them by the balls, mm. 
and they're working them like a fucking hand puppet. Okay. And they're just doing what people say. It's like, I don't know. It's almost seems like some of these fucking politicians are literally afraid. I, I swear to God, it seems like some of them are afraid and they're doing stuff out of fear. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but I, I, it seems like that with some of these things. Yeah. Well, they're doing it because that's what the, they're saying shit because that's what they think well, people here, want. And I guess, remember, we talked about this one time when we went hiking. It's like, a lot of them are getting like $170,000 a year. Like, to some point, you're going to agree with somebody if they're paying you that amount of money. You're going to, you're going to do what they say to something like, Hey, if you say, if you agree with this, you vote this way, we're, you know, like you're going to stay in the party. You're going to be able to keep your seat or whatever. And you're going to make X amount of money. And we're also going to, you know, show you some insider trading stuff because like these fuckers are insider trading. They got, they got like firsthand knowledge of what's going to happen next. There's no way they fucking don't. Anybody that says differently, oh, it's you're 100% a fucking idiot. True. It's 100% yeah, true. If, you, if you don't believe that congressmen and women aren't doing insider yeah. trading, aren't breaking like F- FEC laws and all that kind of stuff. I was or... watching a video. I think Russell Brand posted it. Yeah, he used to be a comedian, but now he's like a news reader. Yeah, he, he's like... He's like, this woman made 547% what she makes in a year on the stocks because yeah, she, she they, knows. If you don't believe that... You're not just misinformed. You're also believing this bullshit, which means you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Yes, you are. Um, I, they I, are insider trading. Yeah. They are breaking laws regarding the stock market. Okay. They are breaking the fucking law. Okay. If you did that or me did that, or, or I said me did that. If I did that, if any one of us did it, we'd be fucking arrested. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's the truth. Yeah, it's true. It's true because Russell Brand said it. No, but it's true. Like you can look at you can't you can look at these people's stocks, yeah, and you can put money on what they put money on as well. Yeah, well, that's the whole there's, thing. There's stuff you can there's like an app you can buy that follows all these politicians. Yeah, like Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, and and finds like out that. what stocks they're putting on, and then it's you get a notification. And, it, and like, like I said, I have conservative views. This isn't just the fucking liberals that are doing this, okay? How the fuck do conservatives make money in yeah. Congress? Okay? It's like, you shouldn't be able to do that. It's like, it's like Trump even said it. Trump said, there are loopholes in the laws. <coughs> and you know why? Because I use those loopholes. Yeah, but it's it goes beyond that. Like, I guarantee you Trump's done some shady shit in his life. Yeah. Though. Like, I'm not saying, Donald Trump is not Jesus Christ's Messiah. Yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's not. Yeah. You may agree with his politics. You may think he's a good president. But he's not. He's not on that level, okay? So he's done some shady shit. All of them have. The only yeah, reason... I, the, I mean, it's not the only reason, but the all... reason the reason why I like Trump in the beginning is because the guy just loves America. <laughs> That's I'd say, it for me. I, tell you, I like Trump more, time, more this time around than I did the first time, and I'll tell you why. The big thing that the first time around, everybody said this, Trump would be a great president, he'd be amazing if he just stay the fuck off Twitter. I haven't heard jack shit about Donald Trump saying anything on social media Wait, yet. He's banned from all of them. <laughs> well, but it's like, I haven't heard any of this stuff. It's like, so like, well, the problem is not there that everyone had with him the first time. Mm. Donald Trump has not really said anything about a racial group. Uh, you know, like, he hasn't really said, at least I'm not. Okay, if he did, I apologize. But I, I am unaware of that that he said about a large group of people, okay? Now, just as just as a liberal and a conservative would talk shit about the other side, they're going to do that. Do I agree with that? No, I don't. Here's what I think should happen. You become president. You don't badmouth half the fucking country then. You say, look, I understand. The other half may not like me, but guess what? I'm still their president. I'm still working for their best interests as well. That's what you say. You don't say like, hey, you fuck another half, whether conservative or liberal, and you just shit on them because that do, that builds like nothing but fucking resentment for years. Mm. You say, look, I'm working for you. I'm not, and you tell that to the people that voted you in too. You say, like, look, this is for America. This, this is America. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't just for you. This is for you too. Yeah. All right. 
we are one nation, okay? So we have, I can't help you and not help them, okay? Because <clears throat> otherwise, it'd be so fucked up, which it is. It's You don't do that. I've got a total, like, off-skewed question. Yeah. It's hilarious. So, like, let's get not serious for a minute. Okay, cool. I'm ready for some not serious. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, man. Question. Yeah. I found it on fucking. I was scrolling through Facebook, yeah, and I saw this message, yeah, and I just fucking screenshot it and I sent it to my brothers because yeah. it's hilarious. Okay, all right, I'm ready. Um, and the podcast is 46 seconds left. Um, so I'll just say it, yeah, and we'll have a laugh about it and then we'll end it. Um, you are sleeping between Ben and Jerry, and you are one inch inside Jerry. But Ben is one inch inside of you, and you want to get out. Do you go deeper inside Jerry, or let it's Ben deeper up. inside you? <laughs> oh, man. You go deeper. I'm sorry, but you don't go back. Yeah, if you go back, you know, you know whatever. But that's it was just hilarious. I, I clipped fuck. it, and I sent it to all my brothers. I said, what would you do? That's Fuck. fucking funny. But you don't get back. I'm sorry, you don't get back. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> fucking hell. I love how everyone just kind of knows the answer to that. They just don't want to say it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you go forward. You're going to hate yourself, but you don't go back. You just don't. <laughs> but I just love what it. What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? I just love the fucking internet sometimes. You get some, <laughs> you get some fucking crazy shit. Oh, my God. Like I said, I sent it to all my brothers. Just, just for a laugh. I was like, what would you do? What would you do? You fucking, you know, <laughs> we talk shit about it. But... That is good. But yeah, there you go. What's that? It's episode, uh... Is that episode eight? Is it eight? I think so. Oh, this, this was a good one. Yeah. Ended on a high. It ended... <laughs> what would you do in, in oh, the fucking comments? What would you do with Ben and Jerry? Yeah. So, just think about... Or would you get to just spoon it and just enjoy Ben and Jerry? <laughs> Yeah, but um, that's it. Episode uh, eight. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys, thanks um, for listening. Leave us some comments and shit. Keep yeah, give coming. us some comments. I'm get. I like when uh, I like the guy that, that dropped the the question about the movie industry and stuff like that. It it's 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 helpful. Yeah, because uh, sometimes we don't know what the fuck to talk about. Dude, like the first episode today. I'm we not just, gonna lie. We just talked shit, didn't we? We did. But, I'm not gonna lie, though. Like the second one, I think it was better than the it was more first structured, one. Today. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was more structured. And we had a bit of a game plan going into it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to get comments from you guys. And so, no more uh, beating around the bush. Talking shit with Seth and Earl. I'm not Earl. I'm not Seth. Take it easy, guys. See ya.